so 24-7. Thank you, Hilda. You wouldn't be nervous, would you, Mom? Why do you say that? Well, you told Hilda no thanks and took a sandwich. <laughs> well, I'm the mother of the bride. I have a prerogative to be nervous. <laughs> it's a duty, actually. And how are you doing, Mac? Oh, I just got a few butterflies. Big butterflies, <laughs> big as bats. <laughs> well, everything looks beautiful, Rachel. Oh, thank you. I just keep thinking, I'm missing something. Mitch. Yeah, where is he? He's invited. It's my opinion he didn't come over on purpose. Why? Well, Loretta's living here. She and Mitch don't get along that well. We saw R Loretta driving out as we were coming in. You did? Mm -hmm. I thought she was upstairs in her room. Well, maybe she went over to Sam's. Mm. Where's the bride, anyway? Well, she's um, supposed to be napping. Maybe it's time for her to get up now, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll get it, Hilda. Oh, that's probably the rest of the flowers. Uh -huh. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one flower, a very lovely one. Oh, a very nervous one. <laughs> You're in good company. Come on in. <laughs> Miss Victoria Hudson. What's Vicky doing here? Oh, she's one of the bridesmaids. She's what? Only me, not some spooky goblin. Oh, Grandma. Oh. Uh, don't say come in on your wedding day. It might be the groom. Don't you know it's bad luck for the groom to see you before the wedding? Come on, you don't really believe all those superstitions, do you? Nah. Just one. Oh. <laughs> Maybe two. You're wonderful. <laughs> and you are beautiful. I'm a nervous wreck. You're supposed to be. I never thought that I would be like this. Oh, no, not you, not Amanda Corey. You were going to be so different from everybody else. But we are all, alas, human. I know. Even me and Sam. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're not going to need good luck. Oh, everybody needs a little good luck once in a while. But you and Sam will do okay. You like Sam, don't you? I'm not the one who has to live with him. It's whether you like him or not that counts. But if you really must know, miss... Yes, I do like him. Ah, getting married. I can't believe I'm really getting married. Yeah, I know. My lovely little granddaughter... is really getting married. Where is it? What? It was in a box. In my pocket. Oh, man, don't tell me this. I'm not supposed to tell you. The ring, man, it was in a box in my pocket. You gave it to me when you came in the door. I did. Along with the lecture about not losing it. All right, just don't, all right? Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to it. It's going to end up right where it should be, right on our finger. Do you believe this? I'm actually going to walk down the aisle. When you walk back up, that's it. Yeah, a husband with a wife. Yep, that's the way it generally goes. Yeah. You know, those, those two words, they're pretty, uh... What, sounds, uh, adult? Oh, yeah. Maybe a bit scary? Yes, yes. Well, I think it's pretty terrific. Yeah, well, I guess I'm, I'm ready to be a husband. Amanda's husband. Maybe you ought to change clothes first. Don't forget your tuxedo. Hey, I got it all set up, all right? It's all the way from my patent leather shoes up to my bow tie. Well, I'm happy for you. She's a good girl. Yeah, she is. Hey, so is Felicia. I can't wait till you're on this side of it. Well, to tell you the truth, neither can I. well-dressed groom is wearing. So, 
How are my two boys on this special day? Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Yeah, I can't believe it. Just think what this means. Well, what does it mean? Well, what do you think it means? Well, what do you think? I'm trying to think. Well, I'll think, too. I think we just said the word think nine times in the last ten seconds. Wait, wait, I think I know. Ten. It's a landing strip. Which means that planes have to get in and out of here. Right, so our pilot was probably trying to land when we crashed. Things are looking up, Nicole. Things are... Things are definitely looking up. Look over there. What? A cave! <laughs> Great. We found a cave. Wow. Wow? That's all the enthusiasm you can muster? Do you realize what this means? Come on. Where? Inside. Right now? Of course right now. No, Cass, I I'm busy. Nicole. No, this just isn't a good time. You know, I I'm really swamped. How about if we pencil it in for next week? Don't do this, Nicole. I'm not going in, Cass. What are you afraid of? Who said I'm afraid? I'm just not a, a cave person, that's all. When was the last time you were in a cave? That's totally irrelevant. Come on. Bears! What? That's, that's what I'm afraid of. I just remembered it came to me. This is nuts. And rats. Rats? Cockroaches! Honey, we haven't even seen one mosquito on this island. Well, that's because they're all hiding in that cave. Along with the bears and the rats and the roaches. Yeah, see? See, you're finally getting the picture. Close your eyes. Trust me. Yes. I'll take care of you. Come on. Come on. Oh, my, 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 my. What? Describe I don't believe this. Nicole, look. You gotta look. Oh, yes. That's incredible. I told you. Well, who, who could have... What in the world is in these things? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. It's dusty. It's like it's been here for years, huh? Pull back, pull back. Get that in. Oh, this oh, is great. Right. This is great. Sam? Beans? These must be army rations. Well, what are they doing here? Well, we did invade the south of France during World War II. Let's find out what's in the other one. Here. what this means? We can light these. People are going to be able to see us, Nicole. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. I can't believe this. We're saved. Oh, no. What's wrong? Well, the rain must have seeped into the trunk. The matches won't light. Here's some old batteries. Let me see those. Nicole? I think I know how we're going to be rescued. So how did Vicky get to be a bridesmaid? Uh, Susan, uh, Amanda's friend, had some trouble, and she had to fly to London all of a sudden. Hmm. So Vicky just stepped in? Well, not really. She was here when the call came, and then Amanda asked her to fill in. Right place at the right time. Yeah. Lucky. Well, it was kind of lucky, because she was almost exactly uh, Susan's fit. Naturally. Well, uh, what's the matter? Don't you believe me? Oh, I believe you. But you don't believe something. I just think it's curious that Vicky takes such an interest in your family as well as you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Zach, welcome. Hello, Hello Julianne. Thanks, Hello. thanks, but I'm not staying. I'm just dropping off Julianne. Right. Julianne, you look radiant. Well, uh, mm -hmm. Please, keep telling her, Rachel. Her confidence level needs a little boost. <laughs> We're all a little nervous today. Oh. A little. Take a look at these fingernails. Yeah, she's only the bride's. So just think what it'd be like when she's a bride. <laughs> yeah, well, come with me. We'll compare fingernails. You look fabulous. 
Okay, well, listen, I'm gonna get some paperwork finished over at the office, and then I'll see you all at the church. Five o'clock sharp. You're bringing Delia, aren't you? Uh, she'll be with me. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this minister would do two for the price of one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Mac, let's just take this relationship one day at a time. The way things are going, it'll be just good to get through one day, okay? <laughs> I'll see you guys okay. at the church. Okay. Okay. Where's Amanda, Mrs. Corey? Is she getting ready? Oh, she's up resting, but maybe it's time for her to get ready now. Excuse me. <laughs> Lisa, did Jamie tell you what we did last night after the, the rehearsal dinner? No, Vicki, why didn't you tell me? Oh, it's just so funny, isn't it, Jamie? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, we uh, dragged down Route 4. Dragged? It raced? Only for about a half a mile. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that dangerous? Not to mention idiotic. Oh, well, it was just the spur of the moment, you know. You know, Route 4 is deserted that time of night. Well, it's lucky you both took the deserted route. Oh, yes, Jamie won. What do you win? Nothing. It was just for fun. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you tell me about all this fun, Jamie? Uh, I didn't think it was important. Oh, well, nothing to do with Vicky is important. <laughs> that feels wonderful. I think I'm actually starting to calm down. <laughs> calm, bride. That I want to see. Flip over. So, tell me about your wedding, Grandma. <laughs> which one? You know which one. Oh, come on. You must be bored out of your mind with the stories by now. But the way you tell them, never. Okay, you want the falling down part or the sneezing part? Both. Please. Okay. I was, uh, so excited. And so nervous and such a klutz trying to make it down that aisle, my new high heels. And I finally almost got to the altar and I caught my heel in the carpet and landed right in Roseanne Epilotti's lap. <laughs> Who was she again? Well, I didn't know if she was a relative or a friend of a relative or what. I just know that I fell in her lap on my wedding day. But you weren't hurt, right? Well, only my pride. And <laughs> everybody laughed. They laughed. And they gasped, and they went <laughs> a whole lot. I mean, they did the whole number. OK, now tell me about the sneezing part. <laughs> well, that was when the minister started to ask all those questions. You know, will you, won't you, do you? And I tried to wiggle my foot back into my shoe, and my nose started to itch. <laughs> well, my nose was itching like crazy. It was like somebody put some pepper up there. You just started sneezing? Eight times in a row. Did everybody laugh again? Well, no, I was the only one who laughed at that. Oh, that's right. You laughed hysterically and you couldn't stop. You were laughing for three and four minutes. And it wasn't funny. I mean, it was a nightmare. <laughs> oh, Grandma. And poor Charlie Hobson. He was so stunned. He just stood there trying to remember why he ever asked me to marry him. <laughs> I love these stories. <laughs> yeah, well, compared to that, you know, you, what could happen at your wedding? I know oh. what you're doing. You're telling her all of the sneezing and tripping <laughs> bridal stories. She's just trying to calm me down. And actually, it's, just, it's working. Look at this. Look at this. Is this a gorgeous bride or what? <gasps> Hair. Huh? Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. The hairdresser's coming. Hairdresser? Three. three? Yeah. What did I do all this work for? Is she going to have enough time? Certainly she'll have oh. time. I mean, she's good. She can do it. But you better not be late. I and mean, in case she is, you better plug these heat rollers in, okay? Yeah, that's good. <gasps> the florist! The bouquets, are they here? No, not yet. What do you mean they're not here yet? They're supposed to be here yet. I don't understand what's happened. Where are they? Mom, you've got to call the florist. Why should I? Because I'm worried. You're worried. You call the florist. You're not going to do this favor for me? Okay, okay, okay. I'll call the florist, I'll call the organist, I'll call the hairdresser, I'll call my cousin in Dubuque. Look, will you take care of her? She's a wreck. Dubuque? I'm not a wreck, am I? No, Mom. You're fine. She's right, I'm a wreck. Mom. Don't worry, everything's gonna be perfect, you'll see. Your you'll mom see. really got you calmed down, didn't she? Well, she made me laugh. I'm calm because I know that this is the right thing. It's the most right thing in the world. Oh, sweetie, when I see that smile, I know it is, too. <laughs> I'm so happy, so positive about everything. You're not even a little bit nervous. Uh, well, maybe a little bit. 
Well, here we are. The three of us together again. It's wonderful. Is it? Well, I think so, yes. It's always been a warm time when the family's been together. Isn't the truth being stretched here a bit? I mean, the fact is, we were never really together. Oh, now, Mitchell. Never. Be late. Be early. Be at the church. See you later. Well, I guess some things never change. Did you think they would? Well, I thought by now your brother might be able to stand being in the same room with me. Mom, how did you expect him to feel? Uh, I'm his mother. Yes. And there are problems between the two of you that you ignore. I certainly do not. Mom. You hardly look at him. I can't blame him for feeling that you don't care about him. That's ridiculous. I love both my sons. Mitch knows that. Oh, so you don't have to show him or tell him that, is that it? But he knows. And then there's no problem. Now, it's your wedding day, Sam. What are we doing talking about problems? Some problems just can't be ignored, Mom. Excuse me? We need to talk about this. Amanda's bracelet. You can say there's no problem until hell freezes over, but you still stole this. Sam! Mom, listen to me. It's my wedding day. Let's start with some honesty here. You steal things, Mom. You watch your mouth. Mom, you're a thief. How dare you say that? I have to say this. You steal things, and then you give it to people. So you look like this warm-hearted, wealthy woman. Stop it. Mom, look, please. I don't want stolen gifts. I don't want my wife or my child to receive stolen gifts from you. I don't want them to suffer the, the humiliation that I went through, the disillusionment when I found out what you really are. Anything I have ever done, I have done for you. What? Then you do this for me. You take this back to Chicago. You go to the store. You go to the jewelry counter. And you put it back because I'm not doing it anymore. Don't touch me. Will you stop this? How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your mother. My mother. <laughs> How can you be so cruel? can't have this here. Pine Valley's Casanova has loved them and left them. See how he got his name. I've loved a lot of women. Cad, the Cad, Valentine's Weekend on Soapnet. Home is where the heart is. Damn it, you little creep. Why don't you watch where you're going? Five hours of dysfunction. Dallas Dynasty and Knott's Landing. Every Saturday night starting at 7, only on SoapNet. For the best relief from extra dry skin, try Curel Ultra Healing Lotion. Curel heals like a cream, but feels like a lotion. It's the best of both worlds in one. For the best relief from extra dry skin, get the Curel. Once you were dry, I made you juicy. You were weak, and I made you beefy. You were bland. I made you tasty. Lee and Parrot, the Burger Booster. Attention, Medicare recipients. Are your breathing troubles holding you back? Enjoy the freedom of a small compact nebulizer or Med for Home's competitively priced inhalers. To talk about your breathing solutions, call Med for Home at 1-800-210-8390. We'll deliver breathing medications, inhalers, and portable nebulizers right to your door. 
Med for Home will even file the Medicare paperwork for you. So call now to speak to a pharmacy consultant. We're standing by to talk to you. You're having a party and everything looks good to you. Until, how do you do? So, what are you going to do? Introducing the amazing Plate Caddy. Now you can put it there in more ways than one. With Plate Caddy, your plate, your drink, your knife and fork, even your napkin are easy to hold with just one hand. This age-old problem is finally solved with the Plate Caddy. Brilliant ergonomic design is perfectly balanced in either hand. Easy to hold in large hands or small. You can place it on a table, even on your lap, and you won't spill a drop. Plate Caddy is perfect at home, at the party, on the beach. Use it camping. Before long, you use Plate Caddy every day of the week. Don't spend extra money on these brittle, expensive plastic plates. Plate Caddy supports from underneath, so any disposable plate works better with the Plate Caddy. And our convenient drink holder supports cups, cans, bottles, even wine glasses, all perfectly balanced. The Plate Caddy is absolute genius. Durable, but lightweight. They're reusable, stackable, and dishwasher safe. We'll even include this handy travel box absolutely free. Call today and get six plate caddies for the unbelievable low price of just $19.95. Plus, we'll also include these handy color-coded snack picks so you'll always know whose plate is whose. But wait, as part of this special TV offer, we'll send you a second identical set absolutely free. Just pay shipping and handling. The plate caddy is the perfect gift for any occasion. Life is a balancing act. Eating doesn't have to be with the plate caddy. Order yours today. Your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed. Don't wait. Call now. Order your plate caddy set today. We'll send you a second set free. That's a total of 12 plate caddies for only $19.95. Plus, we'll include the handy travel box and the color-coded snack picks absolutely free. Call 1-800-453-4300. That's 1-800-453-4300. What is it, Cass? How are you going to rescue us? With these batteries. Cass, will you please explain what's going on? Nicole, we are now going to start enjoying island life. Bananas, spam, coconuts. I tell you, we are going to have a celebration dinner the likes of which you have never seen. Because I know how we're going to be rescued. I think. I hope. Hey, where are you going? We're going to make some noise. We're going to let some people know we're here. <laughs> Thanks, Julianne. Well, you said you needed one. Well, I do. And this is gorgeous. How does it look? It's just crying out for a dress. Oh, my best friend, the comedian. <laughs> well, listen, I'm just trying to lighten you up. Lighten me up? Why? Am I acting nervous? Um, when my grandma was here, she said that I wasn't acting nervous. Am I nervous again? Nervous? No, I mean, just because you haven't stood still or made sense for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take a deep breath. And we're gonna try to make some kind of sense. This ought to be good. <clears throat> Julianne, I love you very much. And I feel very honored to have you as my bridesmaid. You are the best friend that any person could ever have. Even a married person? Julianne, come on. Things aren't going to change when I get married. We're still going to see each other just as much. I hope so. One wrinkle-free veil coming up. Oh, oh that's great. Let's it on. Okay. <laughs> Wait oh, a minute, I can't see. <laughs> Who cares if you can see? You're gonna look gorgeous. <sighs> Sam will be knocked out. Oh, I sorry. hope so. Amanda, how do I look as a bridesmaid? Fabulous. Oh, that looks gorgeous. <laughs> the dress Thank looks you. great on you. Thanks. Is it comfortable? Very. Why? I don't know. It, it seems to be pulling here on the waist. <laughs> Didn't even notice. It is your size, isn't it, Vicky? Yes, size four, just perfect. Hmm. Must be cut small. <laughs> so, Amanda, when are you going to go away on that? Excuse me. Uh, have you seen a salesperson right here? Uh, no. Sorry. Thanks. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I get some help down here? No, 
See, it's not what you think. Stop! No, no, I it wasn't. I wasn't stealing. Thanks! No, look, it's, just, it's not what it looks like. Okay. What's going on here? He's stealing. Shut up! Will you let me talk? I just stay right where you are, look, son. Look, look. I found this bracelet, and I'm I'm bringing it back. No, okay. Very slowly. Let me see both your hands. Come on, man. That's all I was doing. Uh, we're going down to the office. No, we're not. I'm getting married today, and I'm late. I'm out of here. Come on, punk. <laughs> Man, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Freeze! Don't move, buddy. You're under arrest. Fall in love <laughs> under the Tuscan sun. It's funny and sexy. Yeah. Diane Lane under the Tuscan sun. There's hot water in the toilet. This is really bad, isn't it? Not if you want to give your butt a facial. The perfect gift for Valentine's Day on DVD and video today. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's no yolks. Egg white makes it light, cholesterol-free, and delicious. Say yes to no yolks. Flossing? It's a hassle. Introducing new Reach Access Daily Flosser. It's got a handle. Got a handle. <laughs> it's easy. This will make me floss. New Reach Access Daily Flosser. Flossing you can handle. Hallmark Blush and Bears for $6.95 when you buy three cards. Where? Only a Hallmark Gold Crown. Imagine what's in store. That's me. And this is Kate. She's just like me. First bike ride. First prom. Then my little girl grew up. Around then, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Still, things were looking up. Until I turned 50. I felt 90. For some, there's Remicade. Remicade relieves the pain of RA and helps stop further damage to your joints. Your doctor may add Remicade if you're on methotrexate already and not responding well. Remicade is not for everyone. Certain people with heart failure should not take Remicade. Serious, sometimes fatal infections such as TB have been reported. Your doctor should evaluate your risk of infection. Tell your doctor right away if you develop any sign of an infection while on Remicade. There is a risk of serious infusion reactions which may include hives, difficulty breathing, and low blood pressure. Call today and talk to your rheumatologist. Last year, Kate was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And she's so young. At least she won't suffer like I did. Considering all the painful things women go through, Ow. using a tampon shouldn't be one of them. Introducing new OB Silkies tampons. They have a silky smooth cover that makes them easier to remove throughout your period. And only OB was designed by a woman gynecologist, so it expands widthwise for unsurpassed personal fit protection. The ouch factor? Zero. Ugh. For a free sample of new OB Silkies, call 1-800-469-2540 now. OB. Know for yourself. This month, DirecTV events invites you into the world of Cirque du Soleil, Farrakhan, and Alegria. Cirque du Soleil, free every weekend this month on DirecTV Channel 903. Check their website for the new DVDs on sale now. TV The Guide. Save nearly $20 off the annual subscription by calling now. 1-800-DIRECT-TV. Oh, Loretta, you look spectacular. Oh, thank you, kind sir. I'm just trying to keep up with the Corys. <laughs> I saw your wife. She is a picture. Thank you. We missed you this morning. I dropped by to see Sam. Wish him Godspeed. Limos are already, Mac. Mrs. Fowler? Hello. Yes, I guess it is time. Miss Fowler, uh, why don't you ride with me? Oh, well, uh... That would be a great help. So, I'll see you at the altar, if I can get my family moving. 
Well, uh... Uh, listen, about what happened yesterday, I think we ought to just put it behind us. Oh, I'd, I'd like that. It, it was humiliating. The store manager didn't want to press any charges. Such an awful misunderstanding. And forgotten. Uh, Mrs. Fowler? Why, thank you. I think you could call me Loretta. Okay. You're leaving, cousin? Hey, Jamie. Listen, we're trying to get the show on the road. You want to come with us? I was going to go with Mitch, but I guess you forgot. Let's go. <laughs> I'm surprised nothing bad has happened. I'm usually a jinx on weddings. Oh, well, Julianne and I were up all night doing voodoo on you. Yeah, oh, didn't you feel all the pins and needles? Oh, <laughs> we broke the curse. So the wedding's going to be perfect. Oh, great. Well, let's go there. Come on. <laughs> Mac, Nancy growing up and going away was bad enough, but now my granddaughter. Wasn't it just last week we took her to the church for the christening? Oh, where <laughs> did the years go? <laughs> oh. Oh, my. Well, what do you think, Mac? What do you think of your little girl? I think present company accepted. I have never seen anything quite so beautiful. Thanks, Daddy. No, my darling, thank you for all that you've given me in every year of your life, for all that you've meant to my life. Well, Mom, I think we ought to have a little conference with Hilda before we go. Hilda, conference, the reception, right. Come on, let's go. We'll meet you in the limo. Mm. Boy, I hope I don't cry at this wedding. But if I do, it'll be tears of joy. I hope so. My little Amanda. A wife. I'll still be your daughter. Don't you ever forget that. I picked a great song for us to dance to. And we'll dance, and I'll be the proudest man, the very proudest man on earth at that moment. I've always dreamed it would be like this. You look so handsome, walking me down the aisle. You love Sam. He loves you. Yes. That's all that I want. Just to know that my little girl is going to be happy. That's why I've been so worried all this time, trying to make sure you were going to be happy. I'll be very happy. You know, I guess this isn't easy for a lot of fathers, but for me, well, Rachel and I, <laughs> we had so many stops and starts and all kinds of craziness. I guess perhaps that I, I've been too protective. Maybe I was just too apprehensive about the choice you'd make, and I know that Sam has suffered because of that. He's a strong guy. He can handle it. I'm going to believe that. I'm going to believe that you're going to build such a wonderful life, the two of you together. God bless you, darling. You already did. Amy, you. Hey, let's get you married before I change my mind. Look, will you let me out of here? I didn't steal anything. It's all a mistake. You want to do yourself some good, you'll quit with the yelling. Look, I was putting the bracelet back. I swear it. Shut up, would you? You're not in here for stealing. You were busted for punching a security guard. Then he started it. Look, look, I'm getting married today, OK? Great. Don't I get a phone call? It's the law. I get a phone call, right? You'll just have to wait for the public defender. Will you let me out of here? Come on, I'm getting married in an hour. Let me out! No, I had absolutely no idea that bananas and spam went together so well. Here, have some more. Oh, mm. Hey, look. I did it. You're kidding, already? Yep. <laughs> I'm a genius. You... you actually did it? Yep, when I was a kid, you know? This was my hobby, putting radios together and taking them apart. Well, what are you gonna do now? Now I'm gonna send an SOS signal. Really? Yep, here it goes. Did it work? I don't know, only if someone hears it. What, are you going to do it again? 
Yeah, in a, in a while. Well, where are the drinks? Right here. Why? You remember when Wally died? And we talked about celebrating life whenever we could? I remember. Well, I think it's a perfect time while we're waiting to... to send another SOS to, to celebrate. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah, it is perfect. Here you go. Thank you. How about a toast? Okay. To me, the genius who put this radio together. Well, wait a minute. You don't toast yourself, Miss Modesty. And anyway, it was my idea. All right, all right. So we'll toast to you, too. To the idea man behind uh -huh. the genius. Um, I couldn't have done this without your support and your encouragement. Thank you, thank you. And wait to our flight home. May it be boringly uneventful. Yeah, may our biggest complaint be turbulence in a crummy movie. Here, here. We will be rescued, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. You don't sound sure. Well, I am. I, I just hope. What? Well, I, I just hope that it's not too. Late? No, soon. What? Too soon. Did I really say that? Yeah, I guess I did. It's just that, uh, well, I, I really do like this place. It's beautiful and peaceful and private. It's our own little island. Then maybe we shouldn't waste any time. What do you mean? But we should take advantage of all of this peacefulness and privacy while we have it. How? Oh, I can think of a lot of ways. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Name some. Well, I haven't had any exercise in a few days. Me neither. I'm starting to feel a little out of shape. Me too. I'm swim. In the dark? Mm -hmm. We can light the torches. I want to see you. All of you. You're watching another world. Poor Charles is back. With a bed. Only on soap net. Oh, honey, come quick. What? Look at this Denny's French Toast Slam on TV. Oh, oh. you know, that does look good. Oh, yeah. Are you getting hungry? Yeah. Hey, how about we head over to Denny's right now? It's just $4.99. For French toast? That's a great deal. Let's go. Clear Blue Easy Digital, the first pregnancy test with a digital readout. If only everything in life were this clear. There are three things you can count on in life. Debt, taxes, and cable rate increases. Thousands of Americans each day have realized that rising cable rates and poor service are not their only choice. People are switching to Direct TV. Switching from cable has never been easier, especially now that you can get a four-room system for free. With the Direct TV Total Choice Plus, with local channels programming package, you get over 130 channels of your favorite programming with true digital quality picture and sound. And best of all, you get your favorite local channels, too. Direct TV also offers premium programming from HBO, Stars, Showtime, Cinemax, plus Sports Pack. Plus, up to 55 pay-per-view choices a day. Plus, you get your choice of the best sports programming available, including NFL Sunday Ticket, exclusively from DirecTV. Your choice has never been easier. Call now to order your DirecTV system for up to four rooms for free. That's a $299 value. And your standard professional installation is always included. If you have a mobility problem, here's an important message from Hoveround. 
If you pre-qualify for a power chair, we will deliver a brand new hover round to your home. That's right. Unlike many mobility companies that offer deals too good to be true, our offer is straightforward. We will deliver you a power chair if you pre-qualify. It's that simple. But that's not the only difference between us and other mobility companies that just sell products. At Hoverround, we manufacture power chairs in the USA. Our complete line of power chairs and motorized scooters are the most comfortable you can sit in, and they're built to last a lifetime. There are no middlemen. We have service locations coast to coast. We do all the paperwork, and we offer the best customer service anywhere. We like to look at our chair and our system as a solution to problems. Oh, I love it. I really do. It's best thing since legs. <laughs> Call now. Our mobility specialist will come to your home and evaluate exactly which hoveround is best for you. Over 30,000 doctors have prescribed hoveround power chairs, and in most cases, the costs were 100% covered. So why settle for a generic product when you can own the name brand, a hoveround, for little or no money out of pocket? Come to find out, it didn't cost me one single penny, and I now have my hoveround. If you have Medicare or private insurance and want to own a hoveround, call right now. We'll send you a free video. We'll evaluate your individual needs. And if you pre-qualify, we'll deliver a power chair to your home. It can't get better than this. At Hoveround, we believe you should be free to see the world. And remember, if you pre-qualify for a power chair, we'll deliver a brand new Hoveround to your home. Call now. Oh, look at Amanda. Oh, that dress is beautiful. Okay, come on, you guys. Let's get over here. Let's go. Hey. Where's you? There is no sign of the groom anywhere. Oh, Mac. There's Mitch. Maybe he knows. Mitch, do you have any idea what's going on? I've called. There's no answer. I assume that he's on his way. It's too late to be assuming anything. This is like a scene from Father of the Bride. <laughs> you make a wonderful Spencer Tracy, Mac. Thank you, Loretta. <laughs> I hope you're in the right mood. What? Ah, oh, we're going to start soon. We hope. Um, why don't you get Mitch to take you in and seat you? Oh, you know... When I think of how my family is being brought together because of your family, it's all so wonderfully strange. That's the understatement of the year. <sighs> well, I'll, I'll see you in the receiving line. Right. Mac? Uh, excuse me. Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you holding up, sis? Oh, I'm all right. Yeah. Hey, how's, how's my groom, huh? Is he nervous? Is he as nervous as I am? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, He's delayed, honey, just for a bit. Just a bit. Where? What's he doing? We don't know. Nobody does. Come on, man, let me out of here! I'm getting married today! Where the hell is the public defender? I just want to look at you for a while. You look today. If I had only one wish in my entire life, it would be that we could stay like this forever.
Charlie's Casanova has loved them and left them. See how he got his name. I've loved a lot of women. Tag the Cad Valentine's Weekend on SoapNet. It's been a killer year for Days of Our Lives. And now, beginning March 15th, SoapNet's got your days at night. Be with me tonight. It joins the hottest lineup in prime time. Days of Our Lives, All My Children, One Life to Live, and General Hospital. The new way to watch soap on SoapNet. This is the first time I can remember feeling this good about my body. I went from a size 10 to a size 6 in just two months. It wasn't magic. It was this incredibly easy diet by Nutrisystem. It's called Nutrisystem Nourish. And with Nutrisystem, you don't have to give up almost anything. And it really works. Nutrisystem is smart. Only Nutrisystem is based on the glycemic index, a diet specially formulated to be rich in good carbs and low in fat, so you can burn more calories more effectively. With Nutrisystem, you don't have to give up eating great to lose weight. I love chocolate. So any diet that lets me eat chocolate every day is a diet for me. It's just too good. Nutrisystem is satisfying. With over 100 great-tasting meals and desserts to choose from, from hearty lasagna and zesty chicken to crunchy biscotti and creamy hot chocolate. So you can stay satisfied and lose weight without giving up the foods you love. Wow, now that's good. Order your 28-day Nutrisystem Nourish program and you'll get four full weeks of great-tasting meals and desserts for less than $10 a day. That's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert every day for almost a month. And every meal is totally prepared. It's so convenient. You can bring it with you anywhere, heat it up, and it's ready to eat. Nutrisystem is so easy. There's no counting, measuring, or guesswork. Just 100 great-tasting meals that adapt to your lifestyle and go anywhere you go. Definitely the best thing about the program is I get to eat like five times a day and I'm never left feeling hungry. And Nutrisystem is a great value. There's never any sign-up or membership fees, ever. So now you can look great and lose weight at a price you can afford. Call now to get your 28-day Nutrisystem Nourish program, and you'll get four full weeks of great-tasting meals and desserts. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert every day for almost a month, all for less than $10 a day. Nutrisystem worked for me. Trust me, it will work for you. It's Nutrisystem Nourish. It's new, and it works. Get the skinny on Nutrisystem by calling 888-755-THIN. This is my oxygen. Watch it. The Oxygen Network. The Oxygen Movie. Free on direct. <laughs> now we know. Oh. Watch it. Now we know. Now, now we know. know. Oh. Oh. Watch it. Oh. Bringing direct TV to our new house was real easy. We just called ahead, left the old dish where it was, and packed the receiver and remote. They gave us a new dish and even took care of the installation. Actually, DirecTV made moving an enjoyable experience. Now it's my turn to enjoy it. Here you go. Remember to lift with your knees, dear. DirecTV Freeview Series and Music Choice present Take a Look. Shelby Lynn and Liz Fair live in concert featuring Grammy Award winner Shelby Lynn an intimate performance of her new album Identity Crisis and the extraordinary Liz Fair live from Chicago's Metro performing new hits from her self-titled album Liz Fair and Shelby Lynn live available every weekend in February on channel 103 two the new fashion craze, Lagoon Wear by Love. To... Us. To you and me. Do you really mean that? I believe that all of this has happened for a reason. That we were both saved and we find ourselves here tonight in this paradise. Yeah. What's the reason? That we were meant to be together. That's simple, huh? Sometimes the most important things are.
idea. Uh-oh. Don't wait here. Uh-oh. No, no, what don't worry. Do don't worry. This is going to be very simple. Was it me you saved? Or was it Kathleen? Was it me you want to be with? Darling, I'm sure Sam will get here just as soon as he can. Something terrible must have happened. It could have been something very simple. Now stop trying to humor me. S somebody should be out there looking for him. They are looking. Listen, I checked the hospitals, the station house, even the state police. Thank you. Keep looking. I hope it wasn't my fault. What do you mean, Loretta? Oh, nothing. Loretta, if you have even a clue. It's just I went to see Sam this morning. We, we had an argument. He was not happy when I left. Oh, I'm sure it couldn't be that. Mitch, any news? I spoke with Sam's landlord. Did you find out something, Mitch? Sam's landlord said that he saw him get into his car earlier and take off. It, he was still in his jeans. Well, maybe Sam came back when the landlord wasn't there. Maybe. But he asked Sam where he was off to in such a hurry, and Sam replied, according to the landlord, that he was going to Chicago. Well, I knew it. He was angry. With no. me, terribly angry. No, that isn't right. Sam wouldn't, Sam wouldn't do anything like that. It's not like him. What do you think? I agree with Amanda. Well, I don't. He does what he wants to do when he wants to do it, regardless of what it does to others. No, something must have happened. Well, whatever happened, we're going to have to make an announcement to the guests. No! Darling, we don't have a choice any longer. I'll do it. Mom, this isn't like Sam. He would never stand me up. He wouldn't do this. I can't believe this is happening. I know, but it looks like it is. The lady I love is going through hell right now because I'm sitting in this jail cell. Just get me out. You're free to go. I am? Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Will you open the door? Open the door. You'll be back. Now, we need to talk about your court dates. Fine. You set it up and get in touch with me. I'll be there. Open the door. I'll be seeing you real soon. My man is going to be going crazy. I swear. I swear I will make this up to you, Amanda. Look, just open the door, will you? Thank you. Thanks. Only SoapNet can resurrect poor Charles next with back-to-back -back episodes. Then stick around for some down-home fun on Dallas. How much would you risk to save the one you love? Get swept away. Poor Charles' time in a bottle. Coming up next, only on SoapNet. A family barbecue, Paula? Yeah, Ragweed. Watch how fast their allergy medicines stop working. His Benadryl allergy only lasted six hours. Same with her Tylenol severe allergy. His Allegro on 80 is still working. It lasts four times longer. One dose of most seasonal allergy medicines doesn't work as long as you want. But just one Allegro 180 lasts up to four times longer than most OTC allergy medicines. His Allegro 180 has worked all day. For people 12 and over, side effects are low and may include headache, cold, or backache. Allegro 180 works all night, too. Long-lasting Allegra. The relief goes on. Pigtails too weak to work it? Feel like you're tearing your hair out? Garnier Fructis. The first fortifying shampoo with active fruit concentrate from Garnier. It's proven. The Garnier Fructis system makes hair up to five times stronger. And so much shinier. For hair that shines with all its strength, Garnier Fructis. Garnier. At some point in their lives, many women experience a decrease in libido due to stress, childbirth, menopause, or medications. Today, women of all ages are discovering Avlamil, the gentle, non-prescription, once-daily supplement made just for women. The ingredients in Avlamil have been shown to enhance libido, maintain hormonal balance, and promote a healthier, more energetic love life. Now, you can receive a free 30-day sample cycle. Free samples are only available for a short time, so call or go online today. You know, it was something that I just I couldn't talk about. 
but with work and stress and hormones, I mean, I had no energy, and my sex drive was gone completely. Introducing Avlamel, the non-prescription once daily supplement made just for women. Then I began taking Avlamel, and it all started to come back. I feel better now. I feel like I'm back to being me again. Now you can receive a free 30-day sample cycle. Just call or go online today. Nicole? Nicole? Hey, where are you? What is this, some kind of a joke? Nicole? 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 What could have happened? I, there's no way of knowing until you hear from Sam. I want to know now. Amanda, you've got to calm down. You tell me that one more time. Honey, getting hysterical isn't going to help. I'm sure Sam is fine. I'm not. Honey, please. Daddy is dead wrong. Sam would never do this to me. He loves me. He would never do this to me. You know Daddy is wrong, don't you? Darling, I don't know what to think anymore. I'm sorry. I want you to leave. Amanda, listen. No, I'm not listening to you, not to you or anyone else. I want you to leave. Amanda? Go away! Amanda! Sam, <laughs> what happened to you? What happened? Hey, wait. Wait. I'm sorry? Sam! Where is everybody? Well, they left nearly an hour ago. Great, they're gonna kill me. Well, Mac may have uttered those words at one point. Yeah, I don't blame him. Look, I promise, I didn't do this on purpose. I swear it. I know how much you two love each other, and I was a little surprised. It's a long and complicated story. Look, I want to marry Amanda more than anything in my life. I don't think it would take too much to convince her. <sighs> Where is she? Home with her family. Okay, great. She should still be there. Okay, thanks. Oh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, these doors stay open, right? Well, they stay open. Okay. Uh, an, organ an organist. Yeah, we're gonna need an organist. Of course. Of course. I promise, Amanda, I'm not letting you go ever again. This wedding, it's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. Their book spoke of time travel, vampires, and angels. And if you miss any of them, count on SoapNet to bring back poor Charles. Coming up next, revisit their stories with back-to-back -back episodes. Only on SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps.